everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything on this link and don't forget to like comment and share my videos thank you hello everyone today we will work on our delete book page and here we have added our add book page and we can make a page for our delete book page exactly like this we can make a form where we will input these things and then a delete button with this we will run our delete query but we can also make a form simply with the book id and we will add a button and that way we will delete a book because we don't need to input all the name and author name and other information of a book to delete this book so we will not need a delete book page separately we will just make a small form inside our book page for deleting this from the admin side so this will be only in the admin side book page here inside that search class we will copy this form and paste it again after this form so the form will be exactly like the other search bar and here we will just change the name of our form input and here the name was search we will add bid because we will use the book id and inside this for placeholder we will write book id or enter book id this will be required field and after this a button and the button here we have used a span glyphicon and we will delete this one and here we will write the delete button and after this we can save this and refresh the page you will see that after the search bar there is another new form for book id and if we give something input here let's say book 5 and press this button then this book will be deleted from this list and we did not add any sql query for now okay and you can see that there is an error if we click on that button because our button name is actually submit and the other button for searching also submit so this in this php code is running because of that so we need to change the name of our button here we will add submit one for this form button and we will need to write another php code for this button when this button is pressed then we will run a query and that will be different from this query so let's write that after this if condition ends and there is also another else condition so we need to go after the else condition here okay after this we will write our if condition for checking if the submit one button is pressed or not so if is set dollar underscore post then the button name inside single quotation the button name was submit one for this and after this we will check if the user is logged in because if the admin is not logged in nobody they cannot delete the book if they want to only admin can access that database so here we are checking if they are logged in by using session variable and after this we will go to our query inside second bracket we will write mysqli underscore query dollar sign db comma and then inside second quotation we will write our query and in the last there will be a semicolon now delete from table name the table name was books 
where now this will be our book id where we have inputted book id inside that form so we will write where book id or bid equal to dollar underscore post bid so they will match the bid from the table and the one we have input we will give inside that form if they match that book will be deleted and after this we will end our php and start our php in between them we will write a script here for showing an alert message that our book deletion has completed successfully or our delete operation is successful so we will write inside the second quotation delete successful Now let's just copy this script message again because if the person is not logged in then we will show another message and that will be if they are not logged in then we will show a message called please log in first. Okay, now save this and refresh the page. Okay, we are getting the message even though we are logged in. Okay, we did not actually add it in the right place. Let's copy this and delete this. Add this after the login condition here. So this will be inside the first if condition. If the button is pressed then they will check if they are login or not so here now this will be all right we are seeing everything properly let's just add the book again and then we will delete this again now if we enter 5 and press submit and then you will see now the book is deleted so the this is actually working properly